this time I'll hit record on the camera. So this week was the launch of Diablo 4 Season 5. I'm not a heavy gamer. <clears throat> I've spent a fair number of hours in the game. Uh, they've changed a bunch of stuff. This is just my quick review of it since I've spent so much time in the game this week. Uh, I am at level 73. Uh, I still have unspent Paragon, but I have been able to complete the level 46 Nightmare Dungeon to get to the pit. Uh, I have attempted the Horns of Trials and did not do well with that. Uh, but this character has gotten fairly strong, uh, strong enough that I'm able to kill most everything that I've run into. Uh, again, still only level 73, but here's an example. Oh, oops, I hit my ultimate. Shouldn't have done that. Turn that down a little bit. I'm doing chain lightning and I've got hydras. Hydras are fairly strong. The chain lightning, if you let it bounce, or if you can get it to bounce, multiple times it returns mana. So in the right situation, like against world bosses, uh, it's very easy to there we go. This will be fun. Just holding down the mouse key. Out of mana. And then run out. But as it bounces around. I lack the need of mana. There we go. Hey, ooh! Ancestral gloves. So I have been able to kill most everything. He's fairly strong. Um, like I mentioned, not a heavy gamer. And you can watch the resource gen up and on shields. I can stand here for a second. And of course, I'm a bad aim at this point when everybody's watching. I don't have any glyphs up to 15. Um, I have not tempered but a handful of things. Uh, and I'm kind of going with my own specs. I'll go back to town real quick. I'm curious to check out those gloves. So the chain lightning build seems fairly strong. I'm following some of the max roll stats or, or build specs for the most part. I am doing so I've got barrier, and I'm, I'm going for a little tanky too. So I've got barrier, uh, armor, uh, conjuration, which is the hydra, uh, barrier, barrier, uh, increased damage while barrier is active. So that goes up to 22%. And when I finish that out, it'll be 25%. Then I've got, I threw this on to play with it and see how the crackling energy uh, helps. Uh, then we got basic skills, which is the arc lash, uh, and we got chain lightning, chain lightning, and uh, I've got. I bricked this one with lightning spear. Thank you, Blizzard. This one has conjurations and hydras, so the next extra head, which I thought was really cool. Uh, I've got conjuration, which again is hydra, so I'm going to shoot more for conjuration versus just hydras in general. So I've got conjuration there and hydras. Uh, I have what movement speed and crowd control. Uh, nothing. Barrier generation, distant enemies, because I'm standing off quite a bit. I found these with chain lightning. Uh, intelligence at max, armor at max, overpower at max, and crit strike damage at max. So this is a very simple character. Um, I could probably count the number of hours that I've been playing. I didn't pull a 20 hour day like Rax did. And this is freeze, yay, frostburns. I was able to do level 46 nightmare dungeon to open up the pit uh, obviously oh, this is also on t4 uh, so i made it to torment level four no problem i didn't die let's see i was 40 40 something going to tears to do the 
capstone dungeon to get to tier three. I was 61, I think, to get to the tier four capstone dungeon. Didn't die in either one of them. Uh, we've been able to run. We well, the nightmare dungeon we ran was 46. This guy stayed alive all but once. Uh, my buddy Gary died two or three times. We had one more revive left when we got to the boss, and the boss was a piece of cake. Uh, and neither one of us had run anything above like a, a, a level one on T3. Actually, I don't think Gary had even run a, a, a level one. So I did Sorcerer because it was supposed to be better this season than it has been in previous seasons. So far, I like it. I did make it to level 100 with Sorcerer in season two, I believe it was, with Chain Lightning, and that's fine. Um, I did swap builds over to Lightning Spear. I played it for, once I got it spec'd out, I played it for about five minutes, and I'm like, nope, I'm going back to Chain Lightning, because it, it was not working, and I think I had enough of the stuff spec'd out for it to work, so it should have done better. Anyway, uh, since I've spent so much time in it this week and I don't have any other videos available, uh, I thought I'd throw this one together real quick, and I'm off the clock. It's just early. Uh, I thought I would uh, share with you my views of the season. Uh, the Mother's Gifts. The requirements for these are astronomical once you get past the first couple. Uh, so this one... Ooh, I've got one. Uh, so the next one requires 12,000, but... Uh, the previous one was 10,000 and some change, and I was at 8,000 the last time I looked at it. Uh, and so there's a total of 27 mother's gifts. But so I started counting after the first row with Roman numerals. Uh, don't know why. There are 27 total. This only goes up to 20. Requirements are high. Uh, the gifts are pretty good. I can go out here and open this one up and see what I get. A bunch of gold, some mats. Some yellows are going to break down. Ring and a helmet. Nothing and nothing. So, mediocre. Uh, a lot of that's happening. I did find a horse. I found a new horse. Oh, this was the new horse that I found. I found the Marsh Roan Steed, I think. I think that's the one that I found this season. I remember Roan was in it. That's the only one I can see. Uh, so the Marsh Roan Steed, which is fine. Nobody cares what the horses look like, really. Uh, there's some trophies. Again. Yay. Uh, I have so far completed the first three chapters. They're, none of them are 100%, which don't really care. I just want the rewards. Uh, and I'm this far into number four, so I've got 12, 12? 12 more of these to do, one more of these one more of these i haven't done the infernal compass yet i haven't so i haven't done this one either and haven't tried any of the ubers as of yet let me go back a page uh seasonal blessings uh we've got the urns for xp we've got oh, i'm sorry aggression we've got mother's blessing which since everything is tied to that i've topped that one out uh initially then we've got souls, so this is legendary items from the hell chests. Don't really care. Uh, Abysmal scroll. Don't really care. Uh, Paragonal glyph board. This one will be the third one, so I'll do XP. So I did the Mother's Blessing first, and I'll do the XP next, and then I'll do the glyph experience next, and then one of these. I don't even know what Abysmal scroll is. So I'll do one of these next, and then wrap the whole thing up. There are some pretty neat cosmetics this season if you're into that kind of thing this was the trophy mount on the horse Ugh, cheeky get it <laughs> um, neat helmet looks like a big barb helmet from Diablo 3 uh, gravestone Town portal. Interesting. It looks a little blocky from here. Let's see. Another gravestone. That one's kind of cool. This portal looks very similar to the first one. It's just a different color. Still kind of blocky. Look, it's that helmet again, but in a different color. And then a burning horse. Yay. So you can buy into this. 
You can buy all of this stuff with a premium battle pass for a thousand. I've got two thousand of what platinum uh, for eight hundred more. I could skip twenty levels. Don't really care. Um, I might buy this in another week. Another week. Another couple of days before the week rounds up. Again, if you care about cosmetics, I have not run any uber bosses yet with this build. Just haven't had time. And we're working on the basics. Like I said, I've only uh, glyphs. I think I've got six or seven glyphs up to like four. Um, based off of the couple of Nightmare Dungeons that we've done. Ooh, we've got a world boss uh, in 41 minutes. And I think that's it. Season's been fun. Uh, world boss is a lot harder. It's taking on order of, what, six or seven minutes to kill the world boss, which is great. I think it should. World boss is an important part of the storyline. Again, if you're in the storyline, uh, I just want to kill stuff. Uh, but it is a big bad, and it should take a while, and it does. It takes a while. Like I said, six or seven minutes, and I don't think I've seen anybody level 100 in any of my games, and if I have, it it didn't really help much. Uh, you know, I'm 73, Gary 75, had some 86s and some 68s or something in the last world boss, uh, and it still took a little while. Uh, if you've got a ranged character, that helps tremendously with uh, being able to stay away and to kill it at a distance uh, versus you know being right up on it and getting smooshed. Uh, every time Ashava would do her little thing with her claw, I'd stand right outside of it and throw my hydras in the middle of it and then let my chain lightning bounce off of her butt and just keep that going the whole time and she'd jump around and I'd throw more hydras in and I'd stay alive. Avarice was the same way. His portal back and forth just kind of irritates me. Uh, Wandering Death took a little while. Same thing. Um, just get up in the middle uh, in between his rays and just follow him around and be hopefully better than I was initially. Now he shoots three uh, rays out, which is if you've never seen that in games because we killed him too soon, and if you're standing right there, and pff, you just get plowed over by that third ray. Yeah, There's a lot of animations that these guys have, are capable of that we haven't seen because we were killing them so quick. I mean, when you can kill, not an uber, when you can kill a world boss in five seconds, you know, the group of usually nine people that's at the site, that's way too short. So I think they've done a pretty good job with this. The Hellborns and the Helltide are... Uh, fairly easy. Gary's running a Necro. The a Necro alone can take him out, and he's at, you know, not even 75 yet. So a really good minions build, sorry, it's a Necro minions build. A really good minions build on the Necro is very effective at killing the Hellborn. My guy, not so much, because I want to stay at a distance, and the Hellborn wants to come and, you know, be right in your face. So as long as I can run around, I'm a little bit more successful in killing them. Throw the Hydras down, respawn the Hydras, spawn the Hydras, keep throwing the Hydras down, do Chain Lightning, do Chain Lightning. Uh, when running with Gary, his minions go in and keep it occupied, and I can stay in the back, and I can just throw Chain Lightning at it all day long, and uh, usually gone in a matter of seconds. So that's beneficial. Um, playing in a group, small group, with you know, one or two other people. It's always nice. Uh, the changes so far look pretty good. Uh, the drops, as soon as you get to tier 4, 925 gear can drop. So you can increase your damage considerably. Um, I'm doing over 10,000 in attack power. 9,000 armor standing still and 7,000 life standing still. Like I said, so far I've built it kind of tanky. So with the hydras it goes up to 11,000. Uh, last season's barb, uh, while attacking, I was doing 311,000 at one point. So that's um, kind of impressive, I think. Okay, so that didn't show me anything. Okay, so this is sitting around 11,000. Armor goes up based on, I forget, resources or something. Damage not being taken. So, again, a mediocre character. Uh, my resistances are almost maxed out. Lightning's the only one I haven't gotten there. No! 
and you can see I'm taking arrows from these guys and it's not doing a lot of damage because of barrier generation and that kind of thing. I lack the needed mana. Kind of tanky, even though I think I'm, the blue means I'm vulnerable at the moment. I'm not going to show you this whole thing. Anyway, you get the idea. I can even teleport back without taking any damage. Look at that. Ah. So Season 5's been fairly fun so far. Um, play it. Start on Tier 2. Work your way to Tier 3, about level 40 or so, depending on your character. Uh, Chain Lightning Sorcerer is pretty fun. And then you can get to Tier 4, about level 60, where all the good stuff happens. Those are my thoughts. That's all I got. Thanks. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Too many hobbies, not enough time. It's a theme song, y'all.